Hey, Nathan, what's your favorite fantastical beast that lurks within the realms of hell? Ooh, I think my favorite one has got to be the insult fairy. Oh, I love that little fella. When you spend your whole day being physically tortured, sometimes a little mental anguish is actually like a relief. Mm hmm. I really like Crummy Reynolds. Oh, Crummy Reynolds, yeah. He does just leave crumbs around, and he tickles your ankles as you walk by from a sewer grate. Right. You see Crummy Reynolds coming, and you're just like, oh, there he is. Hey, 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 you guys talking about Crummy Reynolds in there? Oh, yeah, yeah you know him? Yeah, oh, great guy, funny dude, uh, killed my wife. Anyway, <laughs> we got a topic this week. <laughs> this suggestion is from the guy, comma, yes, that one. You know. Whoa, that one. Yeah, that one. Oh, that one. His suggestion is, please draw the absolute worst dragons. Huh. Ooh. And I wasn't sure about this, but, uh, you know, when uh, word got out that we have such esteemed animators Ooh, in our yeah. presence. Oh, thank you. Holly Weird got involved. <laughs> oh, no. And so uh, one of Hell's biggest celebrities, he screams, he claws, he acts, the triple threat himself. Matt Demon is actually coming over because he wants to be a voice in this project. Oh my goodness, Matt Demon? Yeah. I love hearing his shrieks emanating from various caves around hell. I'm a big fan. Yeah, I've got his uh, his trading card. Matt, come on in. We're ready for you. Hey, it's me, uh, Matt Demon. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Or if that doesn't get past legal, uh, Donald Demon. Or just call me, <laughs> just call me Mr. Demon. Uh, that's, that's all you need to call me by. <laughs> uh, Mr. Demon, yes, of course. I mean, I, I would never uh, presume to call you by your first name, sir. Actually, I didn't like that name. My name is uh, Thomas, Thomas Demon now. <laughs> Thomas Demon. Oh, man. The... It's the key to celebrity to always reinvent yourself. This is the difference between stars and idiots. You know what I'm feeling right now? Yeah. Yeah. Raphael Demon. Wow, uh, drawing for a celebrity. So this is going to be your tour de force. Now, I've, I've got some concerns here. We're drawing the absolute worst dragons. Why would I want to voice the worst dragon? I think it's kind of like the sympathy angle. You know, it's like the ugly mm -hmm. duckling, the worst dragon. Like, maybe this dragon is awful, but he'll find that maybe he's got what counts on the inside. I mean, if I want to go for an Oscar, the uglier and the sicklier, the better, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Ooh, that's a good angle. I want this to be the Oscar baitiest dragon you could possibly draw. The most sympathetic, disgusting, sickly looking dragon possible. This is already great. Already looks like it's got at least two different strains of the flu. So are we thinking for this like all animated or like you've got the sickly ugly dragon and then maybe everyone else is just live action? Okay, so kind of like a Roger Rabbit kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. And again, when when we feed these cartoons into Cartoonotron, they are just sort of animated however they're going to be. Yeah, we are all subject to Cartoonotron's mighty whims. But for the, the pitch document, we can say, you know, it'll be a live action romp with a big CG dragon. Or like maybe a 2D, maybe it is more of a Pete's Dragon sort of thing if Pete's Dragon kind of sucked. And like maybe all the other kids got really cool dragons and then our main character gets stuck with uh, this ugly dragon. This shitty, sickly dragon. Exactly. But maybe the shitty, sickly dragon has a, a secret that will help him win the big dragon competition. Okay, so this is a world where there's competitive dragon competitions. I feel good about that. Uh, Mr. Demon, what, do, what are you thinking? How is this developing for you thus far? You know, I'm thinking he's got to have some kind of hidden talent. I'm thinking maybe he's, uh, he's a really great tap dancer just that that's his <laughs> calling you look at this sickly disgusting little piece of shit dragon but then you find out he's just an amazing goddamn dancer oh gosh yeah and it's hard because the only reason he didn't know is because they don't make tap dancing shoes that big right yeah and once he meets this custom shoemaker is like listen kid <laughs> I've, got, I've got i'm gonna make him for you i'm gonna make you a star i'm gonna you're gonna dance on that stage uh, we gotta decide a name for this dragon. Oh, absolutely. Hmm. All right. Uh, my first thought was sicko. I don't sicko. think that's good. <laughs> okay. Okay. We should start from there. Sicko. Yeah. <laughs> Dragons usually have like X's in their names, like Numenex or Parthenax or Algatrax. Or... Mucinex. <laughs> Mucin Ooh, I like that. Is that an existing product? <laughs> it sounds like it I think could it be. is. Yeah. <laughs> we could get a branding deal on that. Let me take that and uh, twist it just a little bit. What about Snox? 
Oh, I like Snocks. Because he likes snacks, but he's also full of snot. <laughs> it could be, how about that's his first name, Snocks Mucanex. Absolutely. But right. nobody knows the dragon's full name, because obviously if they knew the full name, they would have dominion over the dragon. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, I think we're going to have to follow pretty strict standard dragon rules okay. for this show. I mean, you can either know his name, or you can just, like... He's kind of a pushover. It's very easy <laughs> to have dominion over this guy. Yeah, there's two ways to control a dragon, knowing their full true name or peer pressure, one of the two. <laughs> so notice there's a, there's a shoe on the tail here. Is that for extra percussion, like, or like an extra beat? Well, you mentioned that his feet are too big to wear tap shoes, so I think the only way this dragon can tap dance is with his, his tail. Oh, okay. That was actually a novel bit of visual problem solving. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. I'm sorry I called you a worthless sack of maggots. <laughs> Repeatedly. Behind your back. You sent us a Hallmark card that said that. It was very thoughtful. You're just doing your job, Manigar. <laughs> I like this. It's like at the end of the movie, all the dragons are tail tapping, and then there's like a big uh -huh. river dance number. Happy tails. So he's like, listen, there's not just one way to tap dance. Look, guys, we can all tap dance. And then there's a huge musical number at the end. They're all tapping in time with their tails. I, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, you got to have a big dumb musical number at the end of your children's movie. Otherwise, how are the dumb family supposed to know that they had a good time. Exactly. <laughs> Now, can I ask for one little little change here? Oh, absolutely, yeah. You're the star here. We are, we are but servants. So I really want to feel the character's progression in real time. So I notice he looks mm. pretty down here. But I'd like mm -hmm. you to keep his eyes set, but just give him a little smile. <laughs> so that it's like he just noticed that, oh, tap dancing with my tail. Like, hey, this isn't so... Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That was a very good note. I can see that his day is just brightened considerably. Now, do you think that there are other games that the other dragons play that Snox is not good at, and that's why tap dancing is such a boon for him? I think that they all love to play uh, street hockey. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just not so good at it. Right. And so he's like, how can I show those guys? And then he, he takes puts a little shoe on, and then the little smile creeps on his face, and he's like, oh, I think I got something here. Yeah, when he plays street hockey with the other dragons, he's always taking the ball and juggling it and, like, tapping it around. And they're like, no, that's too much finesse. No, too percussive. Come on. <laughs> street hockey is a great sport because it's, uh, it's the only way you know when watching a movie that the screenplay was written by a Canadian guy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just like, oh, boy, it's time for street hockey, this common pastime we all share. <laughs> I like these little wings that you give him, Nathan. Yeah, I think that's that's just something that uh, a lot of bad dragon designs have. Because mm -hmm. there are plenty of bad dragons in popular culture. Sure. I think anytime you make a dragon cute, that's pretty bad. Yeah. So I tried to make it both cute and sickly. But that's going to get him. That's going to get the audience's heart. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. So this is Snox, the sickly dragon who who learns to tap dance. Gosh, what a story. Oh, I want to feed him a can of Ensure. I, I'm so worried about his health. <laughs> Give him some vitamins. This, this, he needs some Centrex. <laughs> Considering his name is Snox, I think we might need a little more snot. Okay, yeah. And by a little more, I mean a considerable amount more. I mean, he is a dragon, so he's going to be hoarding something. And I think that in this instance, it's going to be snot. Oh, okay, yeah. So he's just sort of on... <laughs> On a horde of his own snot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big okay. booger mound. Oh, y'all, maybe that's how the youth that befriends Snox finds him in the first place. Oh, they follow the trail? Yeah. <laughs> well, his friends are daring him to go into Booger Cave. <laughs> and he follows the booger trail and straight to the snot horde. <laughs> At the end of the movie, like, Snox is like, you've earned my trust. You are now entitled to my treasure. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid's like, I I'm good. I don't I don't want it. No, nope, you can keep it. <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Demon, I, I love that voice. Oh, thank you so now, much. I have a proposition. Yeah. Do you think you could just do all the voices in the movie? Oh, uh, I won't do the movie unless I do every single voice in the movie. That's in my contract, yeah. That's great. Should I give Snox here a voice? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm no writer, so I'm going to need someone to feed me a line for for um, Snacks Mucanex here. Um, it just keeps coming. I don't control the snot. It just flows out of me. Okay. <clears throat> it just keeps coming. It's like the snot just keeps coming out of me. 
<laughs> it just keeps coming out over and over. All right, uh, listen, I'm going to have to interrupt you guys. Uh, turns out this is only an episode preview. Hmm. To watch the rest of the episode, you got to go to dropout.tv and sign up for Dropout. Oh, dropout.tv. I've heard of that. Yeah, it's a new original video streaming service with uh, original shows and comics and text chats. Wait. Our torment is just entertainment? I mean, it's also an engaging and hilarious weekly showcase of your creative talents. Aw. That's right, Chet. You may be big and strong, but true love only cares about what is on the inside. <laughs> oh, you didn't mean me. 